Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to nest CSS with SAS. SAS allows nesting of CSS rules, which is useful, which is a useful way of organizing a style sheet. Normally, each element is targeted on a different line to style it like this. So here we've got nav, nav ul, nav uli. And so what we're going to do is nest these. For a large project, the CSS file will have many lines and rules. CSS files, this is very true. They could be like 600 line files and they're just very unruly a lot of the times. So this is where nesting can help organize your code by placing child elements within the respective parent elements. So look, we've got nav, and then within the nav, we have the background color, but then we also have the ul, and then we also have the li. But they're still nested. So you'll see up here it's nav ul li, but instead of having to write nav ul three times, you only have to write it once in this bit of code. Use the nesting technique shown above to reorganize the CSS rules for both children of blog post element. For testing purposes, the H1 element should come before the P element. The H1 element should come before the P element. Got it. Okay, so blog post and... Um, hmm. I think they basically just want us to go like this. I don't think this is a great example, though. This doesn't show the nesting. The P element, the font size 20. Is that right? What if I make it 200? That's easy to see. Okay, so it's working. Cool, and that's how these. Uh, that's how you can pass the test. Uh, so yeah, we're just nesting in here. So instead of having to write blog post h1 p and then blog post h1 uh, h1 uh, three different separate times, we're just nesting them in here, and that's the uh, text sass. So this is the style sheet. You noticed in the last time we were going CSS, but that doesn't work now. Now we need to make it sass because we're using this nested format. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.